Hello and welcome. My name is Casey and you are tuned into Super Mega Baseball, the fall winter season. Today, the Moose are taking on the Grapplers in just a short two game set. Let's jump into the action and see how it goes for them here. Let's see how everything is looking. We are facing Hiro Masano, Sanchez Silvio versus him. Uh, that's a good matchup for us. Masano versus Silvio. I like that. God Sendez is always a threat from the Grapplers. Bambino, Binder. I mean, the Grapplers are just absolutely disgusting. Take a look at these season standings again. And yeah, you see the Grapplers are 38 and 20. Um, so not like wildly better than we're doing, but definitely they are the number one team to beat right now. That 106 run differential is just disgusting we're gonna have to hit hard against this team we're coming in at a pretty high ego as well after our last couple wins so uh we will we'll see how we do a good team though case and pruitt lost a little speed that's not ideal given where he is but let's check the lineup pruitt has been okay the last little bit irene fast needs a break so we are going to take her out Nixon down there. Nacho Crisp is feeling better. Mm, I think we'll leave Crisp there, actually. It's nice to have that lower half of the lineup able to do something. Silvio on the mound. Yeah, we have a good lineup, too. We got a good team. Rip Dingers is feeling tense again, but that's nothing new. Case and Pruitt had a couple hits in the last series. Um, so hopefully he's on the way to turning around. If not, we're gonna have to make some moves with him because he's taking up a lot of salary space. But I like this lineup for now. Let's jump into these games and hopefully take it to the Grapplers. All right, game one, Moose versus Grapplers. We got Sanchez Silvio on the mound. We are the home team. Let's take these games from them. This would be a big, big uh, boost to the team if we can get a couple wins here. Ali Finder leading off for the Grapplers. That solid, solid contact. Solid all around, really, in Ali Finder. And this one is just chipped up the middle. Finder finds herself a single to lead off the ball game. This one's on the ground to Pruitt. He's going to send it to second to get the force. Back to one is in time. So they get the ground ball, get the double play. And now there's two away with empty bases for Devin Godsendez. That is... How you like it for this guy. He can absolutely mash. This one drops down. God Sendez with a good at bat. Works himself a walk. You honestly don't hate that if it weren't for Hoven Bambino coming up behind him. And this one is just driven hard back up the middle. Lucky Silvio got out of the way on that. It's held to just a single though. So it's first and second for Mosh Sims. Runners are going to be moving on these pitches. This one's down the middle. It's crushed out to right field. This is going back. Tremendo at the wall. It's off the top of the wall. Oh, Tremendo didn't make the grabs. This is going to be a two RBI double for the Grapplers as they take the lead before the Moose touch the bats. Oh, he could have just turned his glove. Pruitt able to make the grab on the line drive to end the inning, but the Grapplers score two on three hits. So the Moose got to fight back here. We're going to need to score runs if we want to win this game. Case and Pruitt leading off. Average is atrocious, but he's looking to turn his season around. Oh, late on the fastball. It's only 91, but Pruitt can't handle it. Quaker gets a low one. This is on the ground to third. Dive knocks it around. Quaker just barely legs it out. The ball got bobbled around. Probably go down as an error. Maybe an infield hit for Quaker. Either way, he's on base. This one is right to Jackson, and he does not miss it. Out to left field. Goodbye, ball. Home run for Hieronymus Jackson. That was an absolute moonshot. 439 feet to the attack of the hot dog sign. And Jackson ties this game in the first. It's two to two. Fine Dare goes down on a line drive from a leaping grab from Nacho Crisp. 
And Marco DeMarco pushes the glasses up and steps into the box. Ooh, that looked good. Fastball. This one gets over Crisp's head into left center. Jackson running it down, but DeMarco's going to have himself a one-out double. And he sends it up the middle. Jackson handles it in center. The runner turns around third. The throw to home, but he is safe on the RBI single. Grapplers take the lead 3-2. to two. Pruitt had an ugly strikeout to start this ball game. Hopefully he can remedy that here. <laughs> That's not how you're going to do it. And this one is hard, but on the ground to fielder. One away. Perry Quaker gets a low pitch. He hits it hard. This is high, but it's not going to be deep enough. On the warning track, Bambino makes the grab. Jackson had that big home run in the first. Ah, and this one, first pitch swing in. It's a four-pitch inning for Masano. Moose need to hit better than that. Full count runner goes, but this ball is ripped up the middle. He turns to three. Jackson throws. And he's going to make it. Oh, so he goes first to third. And now it's runners on first and third. Ian Fielder, none away. This one is on a line to Bob, but he makes the grab. Simple one out. Ah, fastball outside misses. Oh, so she walks the bases loaded. Now it's Marla Moore in try and do some real damage here to the moose and they go the catch is made at the plate so the bunt is popped up oh they try to suicide squeeze but nothing comes out of it there's two away and so with an out here silvio can work her way out of this jam that is a big big if at this moment two balls is not how you want to start this at bat? Oh, oh what? This one is ripped over to Crisp, who makes the grab. So Sylvia works away from the bases loaded jam. Oh, that was terrifying, but they get nothing. Grapplers go into the bottom of the fourth, leading three to two. Three one to Nixon. Crushes that fastball back up the middle on the ground. Nixon's going to have a one-out single in the fourth. This one is ripped in between the fielders into left. Back-to-back -back singles for the Moose. They got a couple runners on, one away. And he sees this one, sends it into left. This is going to be close. No speed in Nixon, so they're going to hold him at third. Bases loaded for the Moose, and Jose Tremendo steps to the plate. Tremendo sneaks it down the first base side. This is going to score at least one. They turn. Runners go first to third. Two runs score for the Moose. They take the lead four to three. Jose Tremendo. Runner goes, and this one is sent into right. So Tremendo takes the turn around. Second, a run will score. He's in at third. Five to three for the Moose. And Kaysen Pruitt comes to the plate. Oh, swings at a really bad pitch. Double play. Case and Pruitt does not come through, but the Moose get three. They take the lead. They're up by two now. Five to three. Ah, Swiner misses the ball in the outfield, but it doesn't matter. He's going to be held to a single. And I think that's going to end Silvio's night. Devin Godsendez coming in. We're going to give Charlie Best a shot here. He's got that specialist ability. Hopefully he can find himself a ground ball. Oh, God, Sendez gets it down the left side or the right side. And so there's first and second now. None away. Hoven Bambino in. Inside fastball. Two seamer runs in on him. Chuck Best gets a huge strikeout. Steal, double steal for the grapplers. So it takes away the double play. They might just pitch around him now and get that force. Big 
do indeed. Sims takes first base on four pitches. So that brings in Kelby King. Charlie Best is really struggling to find the zone. And Kelby King smacks this ball into left field. That's going to be an RBI. It's 5-4. to four. Infielder pops this up to Tremendo in right. This might be deep enough to score the run. Good arm from him, though. Sends the runner back. They don't try it. So there's two away now with the bases loaded for Zoom De La Cruz. And this one's on the ground. Bobbitt dives, makes the stop, and gets De La Cruz at first. So just the one run could have been a lot, lot worse. The Moose bring in Felix Farmhand, complete crapshoot pitcher. on the ground through it able to get to it down the line flip over to farmhand one away plaintiff rips this out to center but jackson ranges to his left it makes the grab she gets this into center field jackson dives and just stops it this is gonna be a double from the nine hitter which is not what you wanted because now felix farmhand is in against ali Finder. You know what? They're actually going to bring in the closer. Close the game. Outside fastball. Dingers gets it on the ground. Just gets her at first for out number three. So the Moose get through the eighth with their one run lead intact. Three, four, five. Hopefully they find a little insurance in this one. Connects on that right to Electro. Testing him. And he is out at first. Rip Dingers not able to do much this game. Oh, chases the slider. Rip Dingers is having a terrible night. Cannot connect with that fastball. This one is just grounded up the middle. Electro with a crazy dive, but he doesn't squeeze the ball. So Nixon's going to be on with a single. That brings up Nacho Crisp, and this is where that specialist trade is really going to start to hurt the moose a little bit. Nacho Chris gets a hold of that curveball, though. This one is out to right field. Doesn't have the distance. Oh, Hoven Bambino robs Nacho Crisp. Bottom of the eighth. That was going to be a two-run insurance shot. But instead, the Moose go into the ninth with a one-run lead, facing two, three, and four from the Grapplers. Get some swinging at the fastball. 101 on the outside. One away. Fastball up, swings under it. Two away for Klaus the game. In comes Hoven Bambino, feeling tense. Oh, Bambino gets this on the ground up the middle. So no clean inning for the game. There's a runner on first now. Two away. And Mosh Sims steps in. This one's on the ground. Chris dives but can't squeeze the ball. Oh. It would have been a big play, but now there's two runners on, and Kelby King comes in looking to try and end this ball game. She doesn't understand how the game works. It's on the ground. Crisp able to get to this one. Over to first. Gets King. Out number three. Moose win. Five to four. Big win for the Moose there. Really strong. Hieronymus Jackson starting the game with that two-run shot. Got to thank uh, Jose Tremendo for his ball down the line. Couple RBIs. Not the greatest outing from the pitching staff, but not bad. They were able to hold a very, very powerful team to just four runs. Silvio going four. Best going only one and a bit. Tolbert one and a bit. Farmhand did his share as well. Got a couple outs. And Klaus the game coming in for the four out save. That is huge. Yeah, Mosh Sims had a great day, three for four. Jose Tremendo goes three for three with two RBIs and Jackson's big home run. Good game from the Moose. Hopefully we take this and we can get another win, put the Grapplers down in game two. Look at us, be proud. Drop that big run differential down by one. That was us. We did that. Looking all right, though. Still two games up on the Sandcats. A couple games up on the Jacks and the Wild Pigs now, so that's nice for our division. I'd love to just knock the grapplers down. Like, fuck them, you know? Give the Crocodons a shot at chasing them. There's so many good teams in that division. That's scary. But on to game two. Let's take a look. See who we're facing. 
Lola Nop's got that velo. That's going to be a little scary for our team. Up against Raul's strikes, he looks like he might be able to make this start after taking a ball to the balls in his last outing. Yeah, I think we take Raul's strikes. He's feeling well. He's good enough to make the start, so that'll be all right. Lineup looks good. It worked last game. Hopefully, we can get the bats working in this one as well. Let's jump into game two. Game two, Moose versus the Grapplers. Moose took game one by a single run. Hopefully, they can be a little more convincing here, but this is a tough team, and we'll be happy to squeak out a win. However, we get it. We got Raul's strikes on the mound. Ali Finn there leading off. Let's get into it. Average pushing around 350. She is a dangerous hitter. And Raul Strikes has not had luck. He has been hit by a comebacker and had to come out early both of his last appearances. Gotta respect the grit of someone like that coming back in, though, making start after start. This one is popped into left. Swiner over and makes the grab. Out number one. Oh, this fastball gets way too much of the plate. But it is popped into shallow left. Swiner comes in. Oh, he lets it drop. Oh, my God. What in the fuck was that? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that was ridiculous. That is not how I want this game to go. This one is ripped in the left. Swiner grabs this. This is going to be an RBI. And it's one to nothing for the grapplers on that just downright ridiculous error from Swiner. Ground ball to Pruitt. This will be out number two. Didn't decide to go to second. So there's a runner on second two away from Mosh Sims. Fastball inside is sent into right field. Tremendo makes the grab. Stops him at third with his big arm. So now it's first and third with two away. Kelby King coming in. Tingers can't stop the ball. So it's another RBI and the Grapplers lead 2-0 in the first. Not the curveball you wanted, but it's on the ground to Bob. They're going to get out of this inning. Couple missteps from the Moose. Not, not the inning you want to have. Irene Fast sees a curveball first pitch and goes swinging. But it's going to be a fly ball out to center. Caught by DeMarco for out number one. Wing. Oh my goodness. Pruitt goes down on strikes horribly. And he has just been terrible so far. Quaker chases the curveball down. I mean, yeah, the Moose are just not into this right now. We need to... Focus up. So Chris leaps for the fastball but can't get it. Swiner dives and it gets all the way to the wall. So this is going to be a leadoff double in the fourth for the Grapplers. Okay. Great pitching from Raul. Strikes there. Gets him chasing the, the changeup inside. He was fouling everything off. So now we got one away. This one's on the ground. Chris handles it. He's just going to go to one as the runner advances to third. So two away for Ali Finder. This one's on the ground. Chris able to get to it. This is going to be a close play at first. He gets the out though. So the run does not count. And we're going to the bottom of the fourth. Two, three, four for the Moose. They need to start hitting. And Pruitt is tense again. Oh, there it is, though. Kaysen Pruitt just gets tense. And he shows up with a solid home run down the third base line. 386 feet just over that wall. Sneaks it in and gets the Moose on the board. It's two to one. Oh, man, I was just thinking he needs to go right now. And he does that. He needs to do a lot more of that, though. Rip Dingers gets a slider. This one is out to left field as well. 
home run for Rit Dingers. The two guys on the chopping block hit absolute bombs. 411 feet for Rip Dingers, ninth on the year, and he ties this game at two. I mean, two guys you did not expect to do it right now, tying this ball game. Nacho Crisp in with two away. And Nacho Crisp drives this one out to right field. This is going to split the outfielders and just get down. Marco DeMarco picks it up. The throw comes in. Nacho Chris takes the turn. He's heading to third. And he is going to be in there safely. Just barely. Nacho Chris legs out a triple. Oh, misses a fastball that he should have hit. And this one is just on the ground to left. So nothing coming from that 2-0 triple. But the Moose do get a couple runs. And they tie this ball game at two. Back-to-back -back singles just lofted easily into left. And now Hoven Bambino comes in in a dangerous spot. Fifth inning, Charlie Best is going to come in and relieve strikes. Ugh. It's a four-pitch walk to Bambino from Best. Oh, my God. That is not what you want from him. And now the bases are loaded with none out. On, threw it on a line, makes the grab. So there's one away. Whew. Solid hands from Pruitt. Gets her swinging underneath the fastball. Charlie Best finding his groove. Gets the mojo boost. And now there's two away with the bases loaded. This is on the ground. Crisp handles it over to first. And Chuck Best comes in and gets out of the bases loaded jam. Whew. That was a big, big inning for Charlie Best. Carla Tolbert on the mound, bottom of the order. He's looking for a shutdown inning here. Oh my goodness, that is way out of here. Oh no. Home run for Ochirio, his third on the year. 462 feet, he smoked that ball. That gives them a 3-2 lead in the 8th. Popped up to the right side. Irene ranges over, leaps, and makes the grab. Holy. That was a crazy grab from Irene fast for the first out. This one is hard hit right at Crisp. who snags it over to first two away. Fastball's on the corners. This one is lofted into left. Should be catchable for Swiner. Out number three. No repeat of his first play. So the Moose are stuck one going into the bottom of the ninth. Jackson Dinger's crisp coming up. And the pitcher is going to be changed. Mac Gunn coming in to shut it down. Can't get the fastball at 99. Jackson goes down. Rip Dinger's is feeling tense. They're going to swap him out for Pedro Nixon here. Pedro Nixon gets a high fastball, but it's hit right at the center fielder. Ah, so it's down to Nacho Crisp. Two away. Nacho Crisp. Soft fly ball. Center fielder makes the grab. Out number three. Oh, Moose lose. Three to two. That was so tough. I mean, I feel like we really fought and almost deserved that win. Irene crushed the ball that game and couldn't get anything down. You know, great outing. I mean, a lot of hits from the grapplers, but you expect that. Pruitt and Dingers keeping us in the game with a couple home runs. Nice to see from two guys who were kind of struggling. But, nah, it just couldn't couldn't pull out the win, you know? Sometimes that happens. Ugh. Cheerio with a big home run in the eight. So sad. But well-fought games. We split the series. Can't be too upset with that. That is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me really helps out, and I will see you next time.